Hi, it's Alaska Granny. Sometimes we want to find an emergency food kit that's all prepared. It's set it and forget it. You can buy it already prepackaged and put it away on the shelf. I recently found a company called Bear Essentials. And I wanted to see, well, what are the options that you get? 15 days of food that you can set it and forget it and you're prepared. I went to their website, it's $65. Then I saw that it also came up on Amazon for $5 more. So it is available and if it's now on Amazon, it's probably becoming a more popular product. Well, what's included? The basic foods, rice, black beans, macaroni, oatmeal, and pancake mix. Those are basic, cheap, long-lasting foods. But let's look at now, how much do you get and what is the value of this product? Included in the kit is 10 pounds of rice. This is a five pound bag, so it would be twice this much. Two pounds of black beans, 39 ounces of macaroni, which is just over two pounds, 39 ounces of oatmeal, and 32 ounces of pancake mix. That's what you would get for your $65. These are the basic foods. Well, I priced out these basic foods at my store here in Alaska, and it added up to about $17. So yes, you could buy these foods yourself for $17, but they don't come just like this from Bare Essentials. They come sealed into Mylar bags. And if you wanted to buy Mylar bags, if you've looked at the price of them lately, it can cost you $20 to get a set of Mylar bags. So the packaging that they're putting it in for you is quite expensive. So that's something to think about. You could buy the foods yourself and even clean out empty jars and bottles, food safe containers, get a bucket from the grocery store and put some of this away yourself. But they're taking all of that worry and work away from you they're doing it for you. They're preserving and packaging the food so that you can put it on your shelf. So that can be comforting to know that it's packaged to last and you don't have to worry about doing it correctly. Sometimes we want our emergency meals to be ready to eat foods. Are these ready to eat? Not at all. Are they simple to prepare? Some are more than others. Let's look at the directions that come with this kit on how to make the pancakes. It's the same. Add the water, let it sit, cook it on either side. But now start looking at beans. You have to do a lot of preparation to prepare a serving of beans. It isn't like you can open a can of beans and they're ready to eat. Cooking beans requires a lot of water, a lot of time. And if you really are in an emergency, maybe you won't have that time. That's why a lot of people like to have canned beans along with dried beans because dried beans and rice can really go a long way towards filling you up for not very much money but they do require cooking you still have to cook the rice that's going to take water and time oatmeal and pasta the same thing while these are basic foods you need to realize that this isn't a real 15 day emergency kit like some of the other things that you would get from say Mountain House where you boil water, stir in the package and you have an actual complete meal that's ready just with water. Plus with the Mountain House, even if you can't heat the water, you can pour it in because it's dehydrated and freeze dried foods and you can seal it up and let it sit and over time it will soften up and be ready to eat even if you can't heat the water. If you look at some of the Augustine Farms ready to go stockpiled foods, those also need boiling water and they need some cooking. But they're not going to require all of the cooking that plain beans will. So they're different concepts of emergency food. So yes, this is going to last a long time, but know that you need to prepare it and then all you have is plain beans, plain rice, plain noodles, plain oatmeal, plain pancakes. You don't have any seasonings or toppings. So you need to think about perhaps adding some seasonings and items like that if this is the way that you want to go. Whether you store them all by yourself or you order them from Bare Essentials, you have to give them credit. They certainly are providing you with 15 days worth of food and it's sealed up to last a long time. 
But don't be confused into thinking that I can put this on my shelf and if there's emergency tomorrow or in 30 years, I can go open the box and I'll have food that's ready to eat. It's not gonna be ready to eat. So that's one of the reasons that you need to have cans and packaged foods, ready to eat foods that you can just tear open and eat, that you have a meal ready to go so that you can figure out what to do next. Over a long haul, you may go to your beans, your rice, pasta, oatmeal and pancake mix, and that's gonna be fine too. But if you're just looking at your first 15 days of emergency food, don't start with something like this. This would be after you have plenty of ready to go or an easy to cook foods in your prepper pantry stockpile. Then you want the longest lasting foods. So while it's a great idea and I really admire their ingenious ideas of putting this together to make it easy for people that don't want to have to figure out how to store it themselves, realize that this isn't going to be your starter kit if you haven't prepared the foods in your pantry. There are a lot of already prepackaged, ready to sit on the shelf emergency food options. Just make sure that you realize what you are comparing so that you can make the best choices. There's no one right way to do food storage. Just make sure that you have a variety and that you have options. Make it fit your needs. Whatever foods your family is willing to eat, whatever foods you're willing to rotate or not. It all depends on what meets the needs of yourself and your family, and that's how you have a successful prepper pantry. If you've tried the Bare Essentials, leave a comment so we can find out more about it. And if you enjoyed my video, I hope you'll share it with someone else you think might like it. Please subscribe to the Alaska Granny channel.